Hello, I'm Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use ANSYS in Windows 8. The first thing I do is I come across here to the right in the best space, click that, and then I go down there and I click All Apps, and then I move this cursor till I come to that column there. I come down and press ANSYS, and uh, we uh, go into it shortly. There it is. Press agree there. I'm going to solve a rectangular plate of 50 millimeters width, 25.4 millimeters in height, with a hole in the center of radius 4 millimeters. So pick on preferences, pick on structural, pick on OK. I pick on preprocessor, pick element type, add, edit, delete, add, and I'm going to use the shell, let's have a look for it there, the shell 93, so pick on that, shell 93, that's the 8 node 93, element's a good element, and I'll press close, and then I'll pick on um, real constants, put the thickness in, and I put uh, add, edit, delete, and I put add, OK, to the shell 93. I've only got one real constant. I'm going to make the thickness one millimeter. And I'm going to press OK there, and that's fine. I'll close that. I then go to material properties, and I pick on material models, and I pick on Structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. I put in the Young's modulus, which is 3 times 10 to the 5th megapascal, so 3E5, and a Poisson's ratio of 0.3. And done that. That's OK. I pick on material here. I put on exit. I then pick on... on uh, Modeling, I pick on create, and I'm going to put areas. I'm going to put a draw a rectangle. I'm going to analyze the top right hand corner of this rectangular plate. Pick on rectangle by two corners, and I pick on the origin x is zero. Y is zero. The width is half 50 millimeters, so it's 25 millimeters. Look on the height, which is half 25.4, which is 12.7. I press OK, and I've got my rectangle, and this is the x direction, that's the y direction, and this is 0, 0 there. So I'm now going to draw a circle around here and remove the circle from, cut the circle out of there. We've got circle, I've we got now. Uh, solid circle and the origin again I'll lift this up a bit here the origin is down there the x is 0 y is 0 and the radius of the circle is 4 millimeters so I'll do that and I'll draw that there and I'm going to cut the circle out of that rectangle so I have a hole there so I'll pick on uh, I'll pick on operate I then pick on booleans I pick on subtract subtract areas I'm going to take from this area which I put apply I'm going to take this area away and I'll move that up there again and I press apply and I've taken that away and that's fine I could get rid of this this uh, menu now so I'm now going to model it so I look for modeling Beg your pardon, meshing, not modeling, meshing. And I pick on mesh tool. And I'm going to make this a minimum length of two millimeters. So I press delete there, two millimeters. I press apply. And then I pick on the meshing. It's quadrilateral, quadrilateral elements, areas, quadrilateral. So I pick on mesh. I pick on that. I pick on apply. 
and now I've meshed it. That's fine. So I'm now going to restrain it in this direction because it's symmetrical about this line. So I pick on solution, I pick on define loads, I pick on apply, I pick on structural, I pick on displacement, and I'm going to put it on nodes. I'm going to box that in there. I'm going to box it in here. I've got to be careful I don't go too far over to the right. All restrain mid side nodes. I press apply. Let's do that again. All nodes. Box it in there. Press apply. And I put the X0. I put apply. I then box it in again here. And I'm going to box this bottom bit here. So I go like that. There. I press apply. And I get rid of that X there. I don't want X0. I want Y0. So I put OK. I've restrained it there. And now I'm going to put pressure on this end here. I'm going to pressure like that. So I go for pressure on nodes. Box again. Lift that up there. And I come down there. And I press apply. And I'm going to put constant pressure. I'm going to put minus one. Put minus minus one. Which means it's going to work. It's going to it's going to act like that. Now you can't see the pressure there, so I pick on plot controls. I pick on symbols, pressures. I'm going to pick on face outlines here and put arrows. And there you are. You will see the pressures out there. I've solved. I've more or less solved the problem now. I've got to solve it. So I look for solve. There's solve there. Current LS. That's it. Okay. It's done it at the top, so that's fine. It's solved the problem. And now I've got to do the general post processing. So I pick on general post processor and I pick on um, plot results, deform shape, deformed and undeform shape. I press OK, and there you are. The deform shape is blue. The deform shape is slightly longer that way. The deform shape is slightly narrow this way. So I'm now contour a plot and I pick on nodal solution. And I'm going to pick on plot the stress and a good stress for two dimensional, three dimensional stress is the one means of stress. I pick on that, I press OK, and there's the stress. This bit here is in compression, I put in tension, there's the compressive stress there, there's the tensile stress there, and we could do some clever things with this. We could uh, animate it, we've got animation there, and I'm going to pick on deformed results, I'm going to pick on stress, and I'm going to Put a von Mises stress here, so I go there. We got a von Mises stress, and I'm going to make it 0 0.075. Now this is not a lot of use for static work, but it's very useful for dynamics and buckling. But I'll show how it works. Okay, and there you are. You can see it. Pushing it inside and outside. That's fine, and that's the end of it. I'll close that, and that's the end of my lecture. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.